a hard to cut for a wind turbine uh, vertical. It's a symmetrical, but I did adjust it to a radius of two meters. So you see, it's a, if you have a radius, and then it would go exactly here. Uh, that's a 1.5 millimeter. So. Okay, <laughs> it breaks down. You see, that's quite nice. Also here, also nice. Uh, back side. Yeah, but you see here, yeah, that's because of this manual pushing. Should it be that way or, or should it be, be this way? Uh, this is the way to go. Uh, this really um, decides whether I have to cut here, this side, or, or the other side, and, and so. Here is the final step before everything is packaged to the wing. I made this to prevent the, that it get, get off. And so you poke a hole. It's simply a nail here that uh, I uh, flex in. Uh, so you can pull it uh, through and, and you here you just um, make, make some shreds and then you um, coat them with epoxy and then you have uh, cut them in, into 20 centimeters uh, threads and then you can pull them here through. So you get these and they will easily um, be pressed on, uh, on the uh, XPS. And of course, it would be better if you do it afterwards. Uh, so first, uh, here that's a unidirectional 400 gram glass fiber. Uh, so first this layer, then pulling them through. But this would uh, take uh, far longer. And uh, so uh, this this is the easier way. You can do it in, in separated steps. Below that's a 220 gram basalt uh, fiber. Uh, so this will be the outside. And now I simply have to put this uh, uh, on top and, and, and wrap it in this uh, kitchen, kitchen foil. Uh, very cheap, very, very nice. And uh, yeah.
Now get some foam and press them over over the night. Yeah, that should should do it. This is a 10 inch hoverboard. Uh, it uh, spins more nicely without a big resistance. That's why I had to choose this one. And it has these uh, six screws also on the opposite side. And so I could easily mount this bar, H bar. You see it spins quite easily. Even without no wind, it still continues. The curvature is to the outside. I found some uh, science publications. Okay, now we have a bit more wind. So now it at least continues to spin. You see the angle is a bit pointing to the outside because it's mounted uh, not in the middle, so it's here. So if it would be in the middle, uh, it's, if it's here, so if it would be a uh, 90 degree angle, then the back side would be outside of the rotating circle. And so it's okay to uh, turn it a bit here. And also the lift is also should be more pointing forward. I added here the Savonius. Uh, initially, the idea was to uh, use a hoverboard uh, board uh, to start it, uh, because with two wings, these vertical wind turbines, they cannot auto start. Uh, but then I would, had, would have had to measure the wind, uh, and I would always need to keep it on, uh, draining the battery, and so. Uh, from a tr uh, trash bin, uh, parts uh, from an old uh, cut, it makes a simple, nice Savonios. But uh, we see now. Generating 1.4 volt, one, one, one. Okay, it's it's not. <laughs> ah, now it gave a little spin. <sighs> so it's uh, this hoverboard motors have about 14 RPM per volt, and yeah, it keeps spinning. So that's the better position of this uh, ring. <sighs> But I'm quite disappointed because I'll never really be able to. to. But as I said, I mean you, you should have about the usual ratings 10 meter per second, and uh, this thing with only two wings would only have uh, would have a tip speed ratio of about four. So the speed here should be 40 meter per second, uh, and if there would be a wind speed of 10 meter per second. And 40, it's uh, about 5 meter, uh, 1.5 meter diameter, 1.5 meter height. So it's about 5 meters uh, for, for one turn. So 40 divided by 5, that's 8 refs. Uh, so 8 revolutions per second multiplied with 60, that's 480. Let's say this is a 15 RPM per volt and we have 450 RPM, that would be 13 volt. It would be perfect to charge a 24 volt battery. The centrifugal force is about, I forgot to measure here the weight, uh, it's less than one kilogram and as I just said 40 meter per second and 0.75 radius. I think it's m times speed to the square divided by the radius. Uh, I did get a 200 kilogram uh, force, so 2000 newton. Uh, or one, one thousand, let's say 200 kilogram. And okay, here this is one millimeter the NEMA. Uh, there should be also a connection at the lower side. There, there should be a ring or a triangle. Uh, so connect it here to the triangle and, and at the other side to the triangle, then it can still rotate around the shaft. And yeah, here these, uh, now it's still for, uh, yeah, this uh, 3.9 millimeter. Uh, screws so I can still uh, uh, twist it. Uh, so if it would really be 200 kilogram, <laughs> it's, it's still a test setup. And yeah, it looks nice. <laughs>
but even the Savonios uh, does not uh, make the thing a turn, so uh, really don't, no, no wind. And therefore I cannot finally sh say if it's working or not. Here's simply an uh, old FI uh, that I can, if I switch it on, then I shortcut here. But I've already ordered uh, these uh, cheap orange uh, wind uh, ch uh, chargers with internal boost, uh, something like 3 amps, there's a nice uh, tutorial uh, car uh, with someone. As I said, uh, here tip speed radio 4, these have less than 1, therefore the diameter of the Savonius should be uh, only a fourth. And his, I think it's 50 centimeters, it's 1.5, so it's a third, it's a one third. And yeah, maybe the position here of the Savonius uh, should be another uh, to, uh, uh, you see, it should be give the most uh, push or lift when here this is in the dead angle. And I don't really know if this is a dead angle uh, because you see the wind. What's, uh, yeah, okay, now it's turning other side. So this maybe here is a dead angle and then this is, is the wrong position. So there's still room for improvement. And yeah, you see, it's it's still oh, my hair. It's still, yeah, okay, and then give a push. So if I really would, it's still not 10 meter per second. So if uh, yeah, there it uh, would be good wind position. But here, uh, but here it should be a wind channel. Here it's also going to be a roof. So there should be, okay, the tree is going bigger and bigger. But um, I, I'm thinking of cutting them and, and plant some more seeds here of my nice walnut trees. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. I have also uh, some one meter um, plastic, uh, usual horizontal uh, blades. Uh, that I will use uh, for for next second test up as a second hoverboard motor, and then I will simply mount this here 90 degree to that, so that with a fixed position, because I have this idea that in turbulent situations it's no good to make this uh, with a wing uh, in the in the rear, uh, because this will mostly spin to out out of the wind, and so. Here it's always it's there at the west, so wind here in this location always comes mostly from the west. Uh, and, and so um, if it's coming from the south, well, then it's no good anyway. Or here the wind channel is, is directing it uh, to this position. And uh, so it might be better to really make a fixed position and, and yeah, use the electric brake uh, when storms comes. Okay.